LED Info. My name is Ron, and we're very happy that you could join us today. We're in the LED Info Test Lab, and today we're looking at the TM Lappy 1000. Now, the light is described on eBay as 1000 watts, but the model number lists it as TML-100W-H02. So we would have to assume that the 100W describes the actual watts being used by the light. Which brings us to the question, you know, why is the light listed as 1,000 watts when it only uses 100 watts? Very good question. Um, the answer to that question, though, is that there's no rules and that manufacturers and marketing departments pretty much pick whatever number that they want. And we don't mean to pick on TM Lappy because all manufacturers do this. And really, this is the reason why we're here doing these reviews, is that we want to provide a comparison tool for those of you when you're shopping to purchase an LED grow light. Uh, we'll do a series of tests. We do a full PPFD grid, which, by the way, we'll post that PPFD grid at the end of the video. We also do the computation for the daily light integral. That's the DLI number you may have heard of. And that seems to be the number that researchers are part starting to pay the greatest uh, importance to. Um, so, you know, we're happy to provide that information for you. We'll also test for the actual wattage being used by the light. We'll, we'll test that in-house, we'll plug it into our meter, and we'll be able to determine you know, the actual number of watts that are being pulled out of the wall. So um, I'm anxious to get started. Let's take a look at the TM Lappy. All right, so here is our TM Lappy, brand spanking new right out of the box. The um, light uses a quantum board technology. It has a seven and a half by a 17 and a quarter inch quantum board. It has 160 LEDs. According to the specification sheet, it uses the Samsung LM301B LEDs, and these are very popular high-quality LEDs. They do produce a natural white sunshine type of spectrum, which seems to be the trend these days. Recent research is showing that, that plants do respond to a light spectrum other than red and blue. The growers have been embracing these new lights. The results have been very impressive. Um, so it does appear that the, you know, the old blurple lights are going to be a thing of the past. Um, the light does offer a reflector similar to the one found on the Mars unit, um, so that should help with the efficiency of the light. On the flip side, we have a fog hole driver, but only the driver. There's no um, dimmer switch or even an on-off switch for that matter. Um, the dimmer switch would be nice, but we really aren't concerned about the lack of an on and off switch. Growers are going to plug the lights into timers anyway, so uh, on and off switch really, really isn't even necessary. But uh, I am anxious to see how this light performs. We're going to put it into the LED info test chamber, and we'll see what kind of uh, PPFD numbers this one comes up with. We're in the LED info test lab. We're reviewing the TM Lappy 1000. We have the TM Lappy hung dead center in the middle of our test chamber. It's hung at a level 12 inches of height. Our test chamber is a very nice 2 foot by 2 foot grow tent that was provided to us by Yellow Sky. In order to increase the accuracy of our measurements, you'll notice that we placed a light shield here in front of the open area of the grow tent. It has reflective material on the other side, and it's designed to keep any light from escaping uh, from the grow area. And you'll notice that the, the, the light shield here is a couple inches above the height of the light. Um, also, when we take our test measurements, we lower the, the flap on the tent. So we're very confident that when we take our measurements that our readings are going to be very accurate. We use the Apogee MQ500, which is the state-of-the-art quantum flux meter. So uh, we're ready to go. We're about ready to get that all-important dead center um, reading, and we'll have that, have that for you coming right up. Okay, so there it is. That's the number for the TM Lappy. Looks like a 673. That's dead center at 12 inches. I'll go ahead and I'll fill out the rest of the grid. Um, also, I'll fill out the LED Info Test Lab review sheet. We'll take a look at the meter and see what the actual wattage is. And then we'll wrap this one up. So thanks for joining us. Hope you have a good one. And we'll see you next time.